as we as we're talking about Washington this much, when are we going to start to talk about Penn State? Thirty-one zero against Iowa. I mean, big. big. Drew Aller right now is sixty-one percent pass, sixty-seven percent passing, nine hundred three yards, twelve touchdowns, zero interceptions. At Penn State, I look at Michigan, and and it sucks because we're both we both have Michigan winning. At Penn State is going to be a tough game against you. We mentioned before Penn State with Drew Aller and their offense is rolling, but again, probably the best defense that James Franklin had, and to hold Iowa to zero points. I understand the OC is not good, but against a guy like Cade McNamara that's been there before, that's a big statement, a big game. That again, people are starting to talk about Washington the way they are now as maybe the best, most dominant team right now. I think people need to start kind of leaning towards Penn State a little bit. Very underrated team at seven. Yeah, you know, I think it's interesting because, like, a lot of people were high on Penn State going into the year, but not high enough to put them above an Ohio State or a Michigan to start the mm. season, which was yeah. interesting. Like, people were like, oh, watch out for Penn State this year. Watch out for Penn State this year. But Michigan is no good, and so is Ohio State. So it's like, okay, <laughs> so they're not going to win their conference. They're not going to win their division, but we're yeah. supposed to be watching out for them. I don't know. But, no, like you said, Drew Aller, baller, James Franklin, like you said, quarterback guy. He's done a really good job with not only Drew Aller, but before him, uh, Sean Clifford, um, and before him, Trace McSorley. So, at the end of the day, it's great to see. It's great for college football when one of the Blue Bloods, like Penn State, kind of comes back and is as one of the sports elite. Um, So, it's just fun to watch, man. Shout out those fans out in Happy Valley. Um, I know that that Michigan – when is that Michigan game, by the way? Um, I think it's in November. They play Ohio State in October at Ohio State, and they play Michigan in November. I believe it's a week or two before the game, obviously, against wow, Ohio State. That's gonna so. be, man, and you know that's going to be a whiteout, especially if Penn State beats Ohio State at the horseshoe. Oh, my goodness. Can they go two whiteouts, though? Because they just had the whiteout against Iowa. I don't know if they do two. Maybe just a day whiteout. Maybe they just Why say, not? hey, everyone, everyone, we're white. Not? 